students it's already july and we are very near to our je mains 2025 first attempt right so right now if you still have backlogs then this video is for you right because i am going to give you the proper strategies to cover your backlogs right so you may be end up saving so much time right because the guidance is right right so let's see first thing is ma'am what is a backlog right ma'am it's so simple the chapter that i have never touched that i have no idea on no a backlog is anything any concept it may not be entirely a chapter it may be a concept or a full chapter that you don't have mastery on that you are sure that you are not going to answer this in the exam that you will panic in the exam while solving the question from this concept that is your backlog right now you know whenever we talk about backlogs the main reason that students are not able to cover the backlogs because they are stuck in this loop where they already have unfinished concepts then the next concept is linked to the previous concept right now they want to have full confidence on this particular concept because this concept they are not able to understand so that's why they are again and again reading this concept by which they end up creating one more backlog that is over here right so that's why while you are covering one backlog you are creating one backlog you are covering one backlog you are creating one backlog so this is the loop that students are stuck in right so that's why it's very important to understand to have control over the time that you have right now you have to use every single minute right that you have in next 5 months right so what is going to be your action plan let's understand that how to cover that right so first is you need to identify your backlog so what are your backlogs that means you need to identify whether your backlogs are like no theory no questions right that means nothing you have done from that particular chapter or your backlog is you have done theory right but superficially like okay this okay this like board examinations it's not like you are very confident that your theory is good right and questions you have not practiced and third is theory you are fully confident on and questions you have not practiced enough to have mastery right now you know that this particular first phase that will cover maximum time this will cover less time than this and this will cover minimum time because already theory you have done you are just left with the question practice right now once you have sorted out that these are the different different chapters that falls into different different categories then understand that what are the sources now at this point you have to be very very smart in understanding what the sources that you are going to pick right and i have made a proper video on that top books you need for covering your like full syllabus right if you want me to make a video specially for your backlogs like in chemistry specially if you want to cover your backlog so what are the sources you need to look for to cover this in 5 months then do let me know i'll surely make a video on that right now students next is you need to have a proper schedule proper schedule means you need to understand that first is your base building chapter so let's take an example let's say for your chemistry these building chapters are some basic concept atomic structure chemical bonding redox periodicity goc these are your base building chapters so first you will focus on these chapters and if in your class organic is going on you will firstly focus here if in your class physical is going let's say electrochemistry is going then you will focus here if a uh, small if solution chapter is going you will focus here if let's say uh, organic is going and inorganic is going you will focus in block chemistry you will focus here and in coordination chemistry you will focus here so it depends upon that in your class right now which thing is going right and once you have completed the backlogs of j means then go for backlogs of j advanced for your respective subjects now students understand one thing that always always dedicate 2 hours daily for your backlogs right it's a stupid thing to think that ma'am i am going to cover like ma'am whatever you are teaching i am not going to see that right because i'll watch that ma'am once i have covered my backlog it's like 
you have covered one backlog you are again making one new backlog you have covered one backlog you are making new backlog so that's not how it works right so you have to be very smart in covering those backlogs that are in sync with the chapters of 12 that you are actually discussing right now right that's how you need to make a proper schedule and guys on the weekends give the mock test of backlogs and if you can't give the mock test practice some questions of the backlogs that you have already covered in the past one week right and next is think this way right how you can confidently say that this chapter is done first is class you have already watched full detail lecture class notes you have made ncrt you have read module questions you have done pyqs you have done revision you have done and short notes you have made right if all these things you have already done then you can say yes i have completed full this chapter is in my hand i have mastery over this particular chapter right then you can also make mind maps flash cards short notes like these quick cards you can make so that will really really help you and guys for revision right it's like you have covered one backlog now after two months you will forget about that chapter right it's not that this is not how you're going to move for this one right so if you have covered your backlog here right what you will do that chapter revise it for 10 minutes next day revise it for 10 minutes then after three days revise it again after six days revise it again after nine days revise it again then after 15 days after one month that's how you revise your backlogs also so that the time that you have invested in covering your backlogs is actually turning into something beneficial now the short notes that you have made or this is quick revision cards of vedantu right now these things you will paste it on the wall the important points that always are like volatile points you forget about those points that you will paste on the wall so that you are able to remember things like because what's the point of covering backlogs if you're not if you don't remember anything right so this is what you will do to actually cover your backlogs in a like right way that is beneficial for you right not one time but revision of backlog is also very important and understanding the schedule the chapters that you're going to do first understanding the time that you need to allot to backlogs and understanding that while covering backlogs we are not going to form new backlogs that is very very important right and set a target that i'll cover all my backlogs by the end of september that should be your target by the end of end of september or maximum mid of october you should be able to cover all your backlogs that should be your like one major task here right okay guys so here we have for vedantu j english right you will see in the description box of this channel right here you will see that for j 2020 seven aspirants we have pro batches right for j 2026 aspirants we have pro batch and also we have sigma j batch which is just at four triple nine right this batch we are conducting live classes your full backlogs will be completed in the batch itself right and mock tests are taken from this batch like whatever we have covered in like let's say two weeks the mock test will be taken for that everything is covered in the batch test series are provided to you then uh, you are provided with the sub modules so whatever you need everything is provided in the batch so you need to worry about backlogs right what you need to do is if you have missed some chapters watch the replay and everything else the batch teachers will hand you right so that's all for today guys this is the link for the batch this is the view courses plan you can opt for any course if you want quick revision course also then it is for 599 if you want tatva j 12 books hard copy then that is for 899 so depending upon what you need you can purchase the batch right okay so that's it for today students till then bye bye take care